what up guys this is triggs and um first off i just want to thank you all for getting me to 600 subs i know i'm pretty far past that now i'm getting on 650 gonna be up at 700 within the next week or two so i really want to thank you all for all your support and for telling people about my channel i've noticed that a lot of people have put me in their sub box i mean it doesn't have to be big channels it just has to be channels like you guys viewers that um you know, like GFX and are willing to show off some talent. So I just want to thank you all for all you've done for me, all the views I'm getting, the likes. The likes have went up a lot. So I just want to thank you all for that, and um, you'll be rewarded. I'm sorry I didn't release what I was going to. Um, I can get, like, um, probably a PSD pack out, and uh, pr probably just one PSD, but I'll see what I can do. So thank you all for that and please um stay tuned for more tutorials more speed arts there's gonna be a lot more coming because i'm entering a lot of competitions and stuff like that so um with that said i'm gonna move on to the tutorial and today's tutorial was requested and um it's a lot of people have done tutorials on this but there are a lot of new type of techniques that you can use and a lot more um different type of creative stuff you can do to achieve new effects and um the tutorial i'm going to be teaching you it's how to create your own patterns and um, customize them any way you want. Change the, the different like sizes and the, the different colors and everything. So um, the reason why I have this layout up here is um, if you put your screen to 1080p full screen, you can see some of the scan lines in here and within the modules and outside on the background. Plus, you can also see them... Um, uh, the Triggs logo I got all in the background faded out. So those are just two types of type of patterns you can do. Now I'm just gonna start off with um, the basic scan lines. So we're gonna head over to Photoshop. We're gonna go to New, and then I'm gonna tell you the settings. We're gonna do the width at six, the height at six, resolution 72, color mode RGB, background contents to transparent. And then I'm gonna click OK. And you're going to see it's going to be really tiny now. You just go down to the magnifying glass over here in your tools. It's the last two on the list. You're going to zoom all the way until you can't go in anymore. Now it's going to look white like this, but it's actually transparent, so don't worry. Now, you can either make them uh, white or black or any color you want, but you can always change them. I like to start off with um, white, um, or sometimes I do black. So you're just going to want to get... Um, you no, know, I'll do black just for purposes so you can see what they look like better. So... Then we're going to go to our brush tool and change it to the pencil tool. And make sure you have the size at 1 and the hardness at, uh, it can be at um, 100 or 0. It doesn't matter because it's such a small brush. So, now that we got that said, we're going to create the scan line. So, we're going to start at the top. You see it only does one pixel at a time, so you can just drag across. And then you're going to skip a line, drag across, and then skip a line, drag across. Now... It looks like there's a bar in between them, but there's really not. So that's what those are going to look like. Now, after you have that, go to Edit, and then Define Pattern. And then just name it whatever you want, and then it's going to save it right to your patterns. Now, I have a layout popped up right here so we can um, experiment with. So you can either do it on um, a brush stroke or just on a plain uh, colored background. So I'm just going to do it on a plain colored background so you can see it better. Go to pattern overlay, pattern overlay, and then scroll down to your pattern. So right here, we got it all popped up. Um, you can keep the blend mode on normal. Um, I'm just going to keep the opacity at 100 so you can just um, see it better now. That's what the black uh, thin scan lines are going to look like. Now the next type of scan lines you can create, um, they just vary. You can make logos. So I'm just going to show you how to make a logo pattern. We're going to go to new and then put the width at 100 and then do the height at 100 click OK now um, you don't have to zoom in for this now go to your logo or any type of logo you have and you're just gonna copy your logo and then paste it into here now it's gonna be way too big so size it down by holding down shift and there you go you got that in there now just center it the best you can it's not going to matter. They're all going to be even. So just uh, get it pretty good. And that looks pretty awesome. So hit edit to find pattern. And then just name it what you want. And then um, I'll go back over to our layout so we can check out what's going on. So go to the pattern overlay again. And go to your new one you created. Now they're really big like this. So 
I would definitely say bring down the opacity so it's at 50 and then the scale now the scale you can change to what you want 50 still I think is a little bit too big so I'm gonna go down to 30 and I think 30 is just about right so I'm gonna just set the blend mode to overlay and it's a very faded effect I would probably bring the opacity up a little bit but that looks really cool on a layout and um, you can even put scan lines on top of that on a new layer and um, those are just some really cool ways to really make uh, your background stand out, look more professional, and really give it that cool detailed effect. So hope you like this. Um, just experiment with your patterns. I'd love to know what you guys think, what ones you created. So you can just leave a comment, like this video, and um, just uh, thank you for all the views, subscribers, and um, all the comments and just the support. So thank you all. I'll see you in the next video. Definitely um, probably a speed art or uh, maybe another tutorial depending on what you guys want. So leave a comment on this video on my channel and um, or send me a message. So thanks for watching and I'll see all you guys later. Peace out.